today we get to meet our clients. This is Marquise Bryant. These are her two kids. She's a single parent. The Finance Project okay. is the she kids wants... helping different families with their financial goals. She wants help with college planning. I always love to think of an entry event as simply this. It's a way to capture the kid's heart so that their mind would follow. At a high school so level, especially in my school, kids desire real-world work also, experience. So my ability to introduce my projects as an entry event always hooks my kids. So the first thing we want to do is quickly remind ourselves what is our particular situation. What is the top things we need to remember about our families? So here's kind of some questions I always ask myself to make it easier for me to summarize. So like, what is the, what's the heart of it? What's the big deal that I need to just write down? What do you see on your kids that are gonna help them in the future? Then for retirement, we got, we got ads for the browns, how much they have to save so far. In the finance project, the kids are seeing a picture of all of the families. But while they're seeing the picture, they have what I call an executive summary, a very common company document that explains the background, explains the purpose, and, and major deadlines for them to follow along with me as far as what this client has come aboard and asked us to do. They want retirement, college, and mortgage reduction. Mortgage. Okay. Okay. Everybody, all, all of them have a budget in hand. They just don't know about the other auxiliary stuff. And so that always leads into a problem solving process. And so they zoom in and figure out what is the heart of the things about the situation. Then we zoom out to the solution. What do they think is the biggest things that they need to do? And then we zoom back in and see what do we need in between? So I know I have to do this. I know I need to get here. What's the questions I have that bridges that gap? And so we wrap up with what are those questions and, wh and what do we need to do next? Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, yes. I am a single mom. I have two children. My son is 14. I have a daughter that's 11 years old. Our current house is just, it's just a little small. Is it a one story? It's a one story. How much have you saved up so far? We may have uh, maybe about 6000 for him. The next day was meeting families. And so, of course, they got to interview them. So well, the next immediate question on their mind is, well, what do I say? What do I ask? I was wondering if your kids are active, like they do any sports. We do believe in getting our kids active in sports pretty early. So. Very simple. I emphasize and to be conversational and relaxed and keeping it to the questions and then vetting the questions. So the sooner you can save, the better off you are. So that goes into college planning. There are many vehicles available for college planning. You can um, invest in 529 plans. I had a financial planner named Laura Payne come in to talk with the finance project students about the details of financial planning so that they can understand how to become a financial planner for the families that they were helping. So this couple wanted to retire at 65. Well, based on where they are, they can retire at 62. Yeah. So they can retire two years earlier, and they're still at 88%. One thing I love about bringing a practitioner in is it gives life to what the subject means in a way that you just can't talk about. The goal for today is being able to explain compound interest, because that goes back to them meeting their financial goals. The students did a lot of work on calculating retirement, mortgage, and um, college education costs. And the formulas involved in that is a really supersized version of exponential compound interest equation, which is a learning objective inside of pre-AP. So question one is basically asking you, why is the interest at the A each pay period increasing? Everything that happened before was just telling you what it's doing in the calculator. Mm -hmm. It has that formula, it plugged in those numbers, and then this nice little table. So the standard just requires them to understand the formula of a base number that's raised to an infinite amount, how that graph looks. But I wanted them to really see how in the world that basic formula can be manipulated. So they looked at a basic compound interest rate, and then they looked at how 
It's worked in a financial setting to calculate savings, to calculate mortgage costs, and to calculate all of those things. Basically, they, are, they already say the fifteen thousand dollars for all the kids, so that's pretty. Oh, yeah, pretty good. we're assuming okay. that it's five thousand for each. She just yeah. did. For days, they wrestled with their assigned family's financial situation and had to email back and forth to get more information and clarification to better make their plan. So, on one side, they're looking at these very complex mathematical principles of exponential, and they're putting that in an individual math report for me, but then they have to switch that and make it conversational in a plan that a layperson can understand and not get caught up in the calculations. I have Evie, age 10. She goes to college in eight years. On the day of presentation, this is all of the students' first project, and so it's really important that they have another opportunity in a safe realm to review and make sure that they're ready for the client. The rate that I did was 4% um, times 1. You already paid 5 uh, years of it, or 15 years. So by the time, for like 10 more years, by the time she should put in $288 to get paid off in time. What you guys can do is you can show it as a yeah, slide right there. And, say, and also when they meet with the client to have it not so high stakes to, to relax the environment and just have it be a conversation that kind of helps them ease their anxiety. All right, so your plans for, um, for education for your, your three kids that you have? And we did like a summary, like you said you, they wanted to go to small colleges and in state, you like for them to stay in state. The cost of your home is 140000 to the principal interest. And that's going to be the payment for to pay it off in 25 years. Okay. We assume put $5,000 for each kid. And you're saving us $50 a month. All right, so about by the time he's 18, he be have over saved over nineteen thousand okay. dollars. You you can have this. Oh, thank you. This is for you. You guys did a great job. Thank, thank you. you.